What is up my friends, it is your old pal Closet Gamer. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Void Miners, that's right. So in my Age of Engineering series, um, I was, I'm was i just on the point where I'm about to start using these things and I was trying to do some research, trying to figure out how to use them. Um, and none of the tutorials I actually came across were you know, quick, concise, to the point. There was bits and pieces in other people's series and stuff, um, but you had to kind of pick your way through the series trying to figure out how to do it and things like that. So this little tutorial is going to be about five minutes long it's just going to cover how to set it up uh, the multi-block um, and how to get it all set up and things like that so the first thing that you want to make is this thing it's a digital guide and it's from environmental tech uh, and if you have a look at the void miner you can see that there's different tiers I'm going to cover tier one and tier two anything past tier two is pretty much straightforward because it's just more of the same so for a tier one you need 24 structural blocks 20 machine bases two laser cores and a clear lens. I'm going to go into the lenses a little bit, not too much though. Um, you also need to position it um, above the surface, probably three is enough, I've put it a little bit higher, but you need clear line of sight down to bedrock, so water and lava and stuff, I'm not sure if that will work, it's probably best to avoid it. Um, so let's get this set up. So the void miner itself, um, an assembler, so this is a separate tool uh, that doesn't get consumed, you'll need that. Your lenses, your laser cores, uh, your block tier twos, uh, your machine bases and your capacitor bank. Um, I think I need one more laser core actually. Let's borrow one out of this one. So it says that you need two laser cores, um, and I'm not sure because I've built these before, and it says it there. Um, it says that you need two, two laser cores. I'm not sure if it actually consumes it. Okay, um, right. So first thing, uh, void or minor controller tier one on the top. Get rid of the block underneath it. Um, I'm going to right click this. And it's going to instantly build. Now, if you're in survival um, mode, what you'll need to do is you'll need to right click it multiple times. So you can see there it's built, it's fine. Right, put your uh, power source on there and it accepts uh, immersive engineering power sources, from what I understand as well. Uh, that will start powering up. So let me grab a chest. Now that chest should start filling up. Now it's going to get ores from all, it basically sources ores from the ore dictionary. Uh, it gives you a certain chance of getting each one. So that's pretty straightforward. That will just carry on mining. Um, you can see that it's switching off and then switching back on again. The reason it's doing that is because if you look in the guide, you can see that it's doing it every 400 ticks. So every time it's doing it, it's finding an item. Uh, and it will find a random item um, based on the percentage chance that you get, that you've got. Let me just switch today. Right, okay, so let's look at the T2. So the T2 um, is exactly the same as the T1, except for you've got uh, upgrade options. Let me get rid of all this stuff and come back over to here. Right, so tier 2 uh, needs structural blocks, uh, lenses, the assembler. I've got a different lens, and we're going to use that in a minute. Let me just grab one more core from in there. Now, if we go over to here, um, I've got the same thing again, so down to bedrock, that on there like that, that there like that, right click it with the assembler, and again, if you're in non-creative mode, you'll have to do that every for every block, uh, and then right, power source, chest, should start collecting, see, it's found some emerald and some nether quartz, now, you can change the accuracy of this, um, using these modifier cores here, so you can put these accuracy modifiers in there, like this, that'll increase the chance of finding a, sp a specific thing linked to this lens. So if we get rid of the lens uh, and we go over to where our chest is, and uh, we take this cyan lens, this lens will give you a certain chance of finding whichever material this lens specializes in, like so. So now, uh, if we look at, if we turn this to normal mode, and then we look at these lenses, so right click on this one, uh, and then go to Void Ore Miner. A 7.56 chance of finding diamond with this uh, with this lens. And the colour of the lens pretty much corresponds to the colour of the ore. So if you go for a yellow, then it's going to be gold. So if you look here, gold ore, uh, or yellowite, or pyrite, etc, etc. Uh, blue lens, it's going to be something like... 
cobalt or sapphire or solidite so the lens color pretty much corresponds but you can explore that as, as as you wish so i hope you found this guide useful if you did please leave me a like please leave me a comment and let me know and um, i will see you guys hopefully in my age of engineering series where we're on episode 25 there's some really helpful guys actually in the comments that are helping other people out as they ask questions and things so that's really really good um, and i'll see you guys next time